This is Anfisa from Retina Coach and today I will talk about core vitrectomy and peripheral vitreous shave. The idea of core vitrectomy is to remove a central part of the vitreous. Debulking of the central vitreous allows further manipulations in the vitreous cavity during the surgery without tractions on vitreous strands and also allows to approach proretinal space, for example, for injection of transcinolone to stain posterior hyaloid or injection of dyes for membrane stain. Before starting core vitrectomy, assure that the infusion is open. During vitrectomy, important to illuminate well the area of work and tip of the vitrector, especially in the cases with opaque media. Do not stay in the same place with the vitrector. Need to move and to cut the vitreous and not just to aspirate a BSS solution. In contrast to core vitrectomy, peripheral shaving allows to release any peripheral traction over the detached retina from the vitreous base. Thorough removal of the peripheral vitreous can be achieved the best with scleral depression, like you see here. Close elimination to the area of shave, use of triamcinolone are helpful tools for visualization of the peripheral vitreous. Stabilization of the posterior pole of the retina with perfluoral carbon provide anterior shifting of the subretinal fluid, thus elevating the peripheral part of the retina, which assists in peripheral shaving even without scleral depression. Performing of safe peripheral shaving close to the retinal surface can be achieved by setting of lower vacuum, higher cut rate, or lower duty cycle of a vitrectomy probe. Duty cycle indicates the percentage of the time the port of the vitrector is open accordingly to the cut cycle. Lower vacuum allows to reduce pulling the retina toward the vitrector, so it's possible to work very close to the retinal surface and to perform good shave of the vitreous without tearing the retina. It depends on the vitrectomy system and also preferences of the surgeon, but settings for shave and core vitrectomy could be programmed separately in advance or set it manually during the surgery. We invite you to visit Retina Coach website where you can find more videos on the topic of vitrectomy basics and also to subscribe our YouTube channel. Thank you for your attention.